Explain to us uh, what a New York bathhouse is or was. I think for the overwhelming majority of, of gay men, their first contact with, with the community at all would have been, depending on where they were, either, either a bathhouse uh, or a bar. If someone could open a business like this and treat customers like customers, like people, and have it clean and keep it, how can you miss? Hello, <laughs> I'm Steve Ostrow, the infamous proprietor, owner, founder, creator of the Continental Baths, New York City, 1968 to 1974. The Continental Baths was a place where people could unite in a kind of safe-ish way, knowing that you could have hot sex and anonymous sex and lots of sex. But before we opened, we got a call from, we don't know who, saying that before you open, the day you open, you're going to be raided by the police. You just don't open a bathhouse in this city without consulting with the police and the mafia. There's something about New York that grants you an anonymity. Nobody was going to see me going into a bathhouse. And there's an entertainer, so that gave me an excuse the place to be on a Saturday night when they had entertainment. LaBelle, Bette Midler, Barry Manilow, I mean, so many different people. Me. <laughs> the excitement was explosive. When I first got there, I didn't leave until two weeks later. The bath was definitely seminal because it made people feel comfortable with themselves, with society at large. It started, it was the beginning of a sexual revolution. How many times do you think you went? I probably ten. Maybe more. I tend to underestimate how many times I went to places like that. 